how to create a chart with images in Excel. This is what we're gonna see in today's video. As we can see, I have an interactive column chart, however, with the image above each one of the columns to help us better visualize the data that we have. Because in a way, instead of only have the legends at the bottom of the chart to tell me what are the categories that I have for each one of the columns, I also have the image. So let's find it out step by step from scratch how can we create this interactive chart in Excel with those images above each one of those columns? First of all, to create any type of chart in Excel, we need to have a data set. And here I'm using just a simple sample that is summarizing a larger data set that I have here. But uh, anyway, let's go back to this first spreadsheet. And I want to create a chart based on those informations that I have, those two different columns, the branch and also the sales. So I can select everything that I have, and then I can go to insert, and then select the column chart, let's say, the first one. Okay, let me bring this chart up into the left, and also I can increase the size of this chart, click, hold, and drag out in this circle, like this. Now that we already have the chart that we're going to use, I think it's like a good idea to input the image over or above each one of the columns. So let's do it. Well, before we input the image above each one of the columns, it's very important to add the image into this expression. So let me click in any cell, and then I can go to insert, and here I go to pictures, and then place over cells, and this device, because the way I can choose all the pictures, the image that I have within my computer. So let me click in this option. A new window is going to appear here for me. And I can choose all the images that I need to use. Because I want to use all the images that I have, instead of manually or individually select each one of the images, I can click, hold, and drag to select everything. And then I can click insert. Now all the images are already in the screen. Something that I can do is I need to match the size of the image that we are seeing with the size that I would like to have within the chart. So if you want to have a small image above the column, you also need to make the image smaller within your spreadsheet. So let's go here because all the images are selected. I can go to picture format and make everything smaller by those two different conditions here, weight and width. But if you prefer, you can go to the image itself and you have these circles in at the corners. You can click, hold and drag in to make sure you can decrease the size of all the images as almost like this. Okay, I think now I have a good size of the image to use. And before I input the image within the chart, maybe I can still make some changes to help improve the design and the layout of each one of the images. So I can go to picture format and maybe I can add a picture effects such as shadow and stick with the first option and also a picture border, such as a black one. Now, if I go back to the pictures, I can see that I have a different style. And yeah, I kind of like this style. Now it's time to input each one of the images above each one of the columns. However, we cannot do it right now, actually, because we first need to input another column chart or a line chart over the column chart to be used as a helper to help us place the image where we need to. So let me select again the last column of the data set that I have, that is the sales column. And with all these columns selected, I can press Ctrl C to code everything. And I can click in the area of the chart and then Ctrl V to code and paste. Now, as we can see, we have the same column chart again, but this time with a different color, the orange one. But I want to change this orange column to a line chart. So let me right click over this orange column and go to change series chart type. And here, as I said before, instead of using the orange one as a column, I can click here and choose line and then click OK. And this is the chart that we're going to have. Now, the last step is right click within this line to add the markers. So format data series. And in this right panel, you can go to fill and line and then marker, marker options built in. And then you can choose a size, maybe 15, but don't worry because the size that you choose for the marker will not be translated to the image size. So you can choose the size of the marker that you find the easiest to click within it. Okay. But anyway, now let me go to the line and then solid line. 
and I want to stick with a reddish color. And as the width, maybe I can use one. Okay, now it's time to place each one of the images or to substitute, to replace each one of the markers with a image that we have. So let's start with this image right here. And then I can click Ctrl C to cope. I can click in the marker, but be mindful because if you just click almost within the marker, as we can see, all the markers are being selected. So I only need to select only one marker because if everything is selected, as we can clearly see, and if I press Ctrl V, what's going to happen is all the markers are going to change to the image that I cope and paste. However, I just want to change one specific marker for this specific image. So let me undo the action with the Ctrl Z. And I want to click again in the marker that I need, that is this last one right here, and then Ctrl V to cope and paste. Now I can go back to the second to last one, Ctrl C, click in the marker, click again, and then Ctrl V, and on and on and on. So, okay, I just finished to cope and paste each one of the images within the markers or above the columns. And we can also see that if I change any value within my data set, you can manually change. Or if you are using a formula, like I'm doing here, you can choose another criteria and you can see that the chart is going to be automatically updated for you. So everything is working. Maybe another adjust that you can do with the chart is, let's say whenever you have a larger value, such this category right here, you can see that the image is almost being spilling over the chart. So to avoid this issue, you can click within, these grid lines and now we have two different areas the area of the whole chart and also the area within the chart in this area within the chart you can click in this little circle hold and drag down like this to make sure you can decrease the area in that way the image is not going to be spilling over the area of the chart and once all the images that you need to use are already within the chart you can read it off the image. So you can click in the image, delete, delete another one, and read it off all the images. You don't need to keep the image within the worksheet anymore. And that's it. So this is how we can create a chart in Excel with images to help us better visualize the data. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.